going on everybody sitting here editing my next youtube video but i thought in the meantime while you wait for that one i would go ahead and release one of my patreon videos i'm finally posting on patreon i decided that i really do miss engaging with my audience and i kind of refrain from reading a lot of the comments here on youtube because the hurtful ones they hurt <laughs> ignoring the haters is easy to say but it's really hard to do so i thought well why not post more on my patreon so it's just a buck a month to become part of the unstoppable army we kind of filter out all the hate and then i can engage with you more all of you that have so much advice for me pointers or you just want to chat so that's where you can go if you want to interact with me and uh, so i thought that i would release a video and kind of show you what you can expect if you join the army so i hope you enjoy this patreon release video and i will see you in the next one hopefully the youtube video will be up by tonight or tomorrow morning until then hope you guys are having a good day This is so cool. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, we are on an island adventure. <laughs> no way. Oh, look at this. Wow. You coming, Boo Boo Bear? This way, Boozy Boozy. Like so grateful for my life and for just like believing in the YouTube channel and being like I can I can be a youtuber I can do that seriously days like today when you find that perfect spot for the dogs and the whole camp set up. We're gonna go eat some lunch in the Bronco. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you need me to carry you? I feel like you're going to. Good job, you can do it. Oh, you guys are so brave, wow. Good job. <laughs> Having short legs aren't gonna, isn't gonna stop you, huh? Oh, good job, Bougie. Come on, Boo Boo Bear, you can do it. Good job. Wow. Oh my gosh. So brave. Watch out, Miles. Good job. I know, it's a lot. <laughs> Come on, Bougie Bear. Wow, I'm so impressed with Buddy right now. Good job, everybody. Good job. Come on, let's go eat. Who's hungry? Anybody hungry around here? I have scratches all over me. Look at these from Miles. This one goes down this way, all the way down here. Scratches all over me. Oh, 
scratches on my legs. They're all over the place. He gets really excited and he jumps up on me. I'm gonna spend a few hours here in the Bronco getting a little bit of work done, let them relax. She's just ready to hunt all day. All day long. I'm gonna get, make you guys a little treat treat. And yeah, you wanna treat treat? You're probably hungry for all that hunting. I'm hungry too. This sand is powder. It is like, like baking powder. Miles is puking again. They know not to drink salt water. You know not to drink salt water. What's wrong with him? He's stupid, eh? He's got some Labrador in him or something. Things that go around my neck start to really like hurt my shoulders. Anyways, about to go back to the beach. We're done with lunch, done with editing, and my battery's dead. So, I don't know why. Like, I don't think I love have this close and uh, yeah it's a jump starter so let's do a jump truck real quick we're not charged up enough okay I have the COD plugged into or to take that trash out plugged into the Jackery so let that charge up I'm just gonna wing it and go I have my drone and my laptop those are the two only valuable things that I own and my headphones So, it'll be fine. I get robbed. Okay, have whatever you can find. I mean, besides those power stations, those are those are a pretty penny. But I didn't I didn't buy those. They were given to me because I got sponsored. Look at me, fancy pants. You're so sponsored. The great thing about the Bronco is it's not really a target. Comes to that. No, it's OJ Simpson mobile. Miles, stay. Y'all tangled up. There you go. Thank you. All right, back to the beach. Let's go get our chair and all that stuff and hang out for a bit. Tide went down. Come on, boo-boo. Good to see you still peeing. That means you're still hydrated even though you were throwing up. Come on, bub. Oh, much better. Those power supplies can take up to like eight to 12 hours to charge. So hopefully that charges up. Uh, <laughs> or I'll just have to have somebody jump me. Hopefully that's the issue, it's just the battery. Dang, we were just gone for an hour. It's wild. All of our stuff is still here. That's good. <laughs> Buddy loves it. He's so social. Umbrella attached to chair, hello. Where have you been all my life? I mean, you can just move it around. Look at that. This hat gives me more coverage than the other one. Which I probably shouldn't be wearing this one anyways because YouTube doesn't like this. <laughs> you can't suppress me. <laughs> this is beautiful. You hear the music playing. Someone's playing Margaritaville. Oh wait, no, life is good today. All the dogs having a blast. Oh, heaven. Hubby heaven, paradise. Now we just need that power supply to charge up. Charge up power supply. I hate asking strangers to jump me. Can you jump me? I hate it so much. How was that not charged? Morgan, you're better than this. All right, well, I have my laptop now, so I may as well try to upload a video because I think I have better service on this beach than I did in the car, buddy. Oh, boo boo boo. Hi. Hello, handsome. Hello, handsome. Hi, you making friends out there? You're beautiful. You would you like some waters? I have some for you. Okay, hold on. All my batteries are dead. Drone battery's dead, car battery's dead, <laughs> my jumper battery's dead. I'm gonna go back to the Bronco just in case because a lot of people are leaving and I'm gonna need a jump if that thing, cause that thing takes like eight to 12 hours to charge. So let's go see if it made any progress at all. And yeah, moment of truth. <laughs> Did I get robbed? Come on, keep walking. Oh, we're fine. I knew we would be. No one fucks with OJ Simpson Bronco. 
I got leather gloves on the dashboard. <laughs> That shows well, four bars. I think it needs to be full to, to jump the car, but we'll try. beach surrounded by a bunch of people that are like normal looking if this makes any sense I feel like I've just been really insecure about my body for a while and like I know that I don't work out I'm a project girl give me a project that's what I like to do I'm not really one for the gym not not even not really like I am not one for the gym and I feel like you know it's been a while since I've been around people in bikinis I've just seen what I see on the internet, so it's made me feel really like bad about myself. And just being here in Florida has made me feel normal again. Like, oh, we all look like this. Like, even the skinniest girls, even the most fit girls, like they still have cellulite on the back of their legs. And like, because I've always had just like a little pocket. I just have like a pocket right there. I always have. And I've been really insecure about it, and so helped like build me up a little bit just seeing that I'm not alone like everybody is. it's just part of like the majority of females bodies like we just you know just how we look and another thing is just how beautiful all these women still look even with it you know and I feel like on the internet um, we kind of like hide that part of us a lot and so it's made me feel ashamed and so to see all these beautiful women on the beach in the bikinis um, with a little bit of cellulite makes me like go oh okay you can still be really pretty even if you have that going on thought of the day <laughs> get cleaned up <laughs> the dogs haven't budged this was all the stuff that was in my backpack and it just exploded in there got all that cleaned up all right now i'm gonna clean this area up a little bit did I say? I can't use coconut oil because then buddy will just spend the rest of the night licking me. <laughs> I was dousing my body in coconut oil hoping that it kind of works like aloe vera. Does it? Leave in the comments below. Is coconut oil good for after the sun? It seems to be good for pretty much everything. Buddy is going to town on my leg. Okay. Just, it's tasty. Oh, it's real tasty. Can you believe me? It's just tasty stuff there. The most cutest pumpkin. Let's go try to jump this thing. Sunrise, sunrise, baby. Um, I was fine. Fine here at the dog beach. Nobody came. Nobody tried to bother me. Everything is cool. I'm walking the dogs in the morning, and then we are going to conquer this Bronco. Figure out what's going on. A lot of people say an alternator, man. A lot of people say an alternator. A lot of people have said alternator before. So come on, Bubba, this way. So 
figured out. They have to be on a leash because they're crazy hunters together. They don't listen. Miles goes so far and takes her. Uh, she follows and then he'll come running back and then she's gone. Oh man, does it get me going. So anyways, this morning they're being really rowdy and very excited. So we still don't know what these are. They're everywhere. They're like jellyfish. You can step on them though. Anybody know what those are? I did a poll on Instagram. So far, no answers. Do not be running off into the bushes. Stay with Mama Sita. Buddy, come on. Come on. Oh, gonna go get the one bird that's here. Assholes. Hi, bub. What happened to your hunting buddy? Looks like you found someone else. Just like that, you've been replaced. You see, maybe you shouldn't follow him everywhere you go. <laughs> everywhere he goes. She used to stay right next to me. And if she would go and hunt, she would like, you know, just be in the bushes right here. But this guy, he'll just go way out there. Bad influence. I think that I would like to get a tracker for the both of them and a shot collar so that I've been talking to a lot of people. They say they don't even have to use the shock anymore. The dogs learn so quickly. But the moment I say their name, if they don't come, zap, zap. Albacore for the dogs. Smiles. I will have some pooper breakfast. 